Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a bubble preset brush similar to the one I used in my wallpaper I'm currently using. Uh, very simple, very easy, and uh, can be useful depending on what type of uh, art and stuff you do in Photoshop. So uh, I have made this image recently, and uh, just as a uh, example, to show you what it'll look like. So what you want to want is kind of a brush size similar to the uh, size I currently have. Uh, which is 60 and uh, the image is uh, 720p if you're wondering and then you're going to want your foreground color is white and you're going to want to be on a new layer you're then going to click on your brushes or your brush panel to bring it up you're then going to want your brush presets you're going to go brush tip shape and change the spacing to about 150 percent and the diameter to whatever suits your image then go to uh, shape dynamics have the size jitter at about 50% and the minimum diameter which uh, varies from image to image at about 25 and uh, of course varies to about mm, 50 I guess which is a 50% change so from 30 to 60 and then you want to change scattering and you want to have both axes but that really doesn't matter axes um, and scattering at a thousand percent. This would be default, by the way. Uh, and then count to uh, how many you want per click. I can have it three because I do it click, click, click rather than click and drag. You could have it as one otherwise. And you also have jitter for your count. Then you're going to go to other dynamics and have opacity to about 70 to 75 percent. And it just changes what the opacity for each thing would be. The lower, the less opacity difference there will be. The higher, the more opacity difference there will be. I'm going to put it at about 75%. Uh, and flow you could also have, uh, but that's up to you. And uh, I always have smoothing set on. Uh, now that you have that, you're going to click on this drop down and go new brush preset. Now I currently have it saved, but you will just want to save it as what you'd like. I have it set to bubbles. And uh, then I can just click drag down, I'll scroll down and it'll be right here it was a little bit different at the time you then just want to click and not every click will make bubbles or however you want to name them and uh, yeah it should be in the vicinity of where you clicked and uh, if you don't like one of them that you think is a bit too packed in the area you can uh, delete and uh, yeah Delete. Alright, now that looks decent. And I'm also going to delete these and this. And this. Because they're going to look weird. Alright, now you just want to go your uh, blending style, blending mode. Go from normal. Now, depending on what your preference is, you can either go to soft light, which is what I use, which is kind of just like a lower opacity, or you can change it to overlay. Just kind of bring out the colours a little more, but will be a bit vibrant. And uh, unless you lower the opacity, could annoy you. But yeah, so uh, yeah, that's how you make your bubble preset. Thanks for watching. See you later.